What is going on everybody? It's your boy Nothing But Skills. And in today's video for Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we're gonna be talking about the skill tree. Yes, they have a skill tree. And it's a little complicated, but we're gonna get through it in this video. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and we learn a lot. So we have four different classes we can pick from. We have the Phil Medic, we have the Assault class, we have the Panther, and then we have the Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter is what I went with, so let's go there first. So for the Sharpshooter class, they have the class technique, which is called Armor Buster, high penetration bullets with bonus armor and muzzle velocity. You press Z while using a sniper rifle or DMR to activate this technique. Now, kills and damage dealt to drones will fill this up. Headshot kills and long range kills will also fill this up. So there's a gauge filler that you have to fill up so that you're able to activate this. Now it does come with a class item, the sensor launcher, launch device marks enemies in a large area and then it also has class proficiencies which is deep lungs and long range proficiency so deep lungs gives you longer breath control while aiming and then long range proficiency gives you bonuses with sniper rifles and dmr now there are rank rewards so at rank two you get a proficiency which is deep lungs plus 100 percent breath control duration while aiming and swimming then you also get an apparent sniper you get at rank three, a skin, a weapon skin, or well, weapon paint, sorry, and then emblem at rank four, sharpshooter. Let's get into the next class, the Pathfinder. So Pathfinder gives us cloak and run, disappear behind a smoke screen. You press Z to activate this. Now remember that is different for console, but it's Z on PC. And this one actually is very impressive and I like this one. Now the gauge filler for this one is kills and damage dealt to drones, kills while in stealth and close range kills. The class item you get is the cloaking spray, self use renders users undetectable by drones and then the proficiency class you get in the shadows bonus stealth, swift steps, faster movement speed, I kind of like this class already and then silent death, suppressors on handguns and submachine guns do not reduce damage. That's pretty cool. And then for the rank rewards. Like all of them, at rank 2, you get a proficiency. So this one is in the shadows, plus 20 stealth. Then you get the appearance panther. You get the weapon paint. And then you get the emblem. Now let's get into the next class, the assault class. The assault class gives you the true grit, recoil reduction, and damage resistance. Kills, heal, and extended duration. And then it press Z to activate. Now the gauge filler for this one is kills and damage dealt to drones, kills with explosives, and then close range kills. The, the class items you get here are the gas grenade, hand thrown, area control device, damages over time, and then the class proficiencies for this one is resilience, extra health, and then assault proficiency bonuses with assault rifle and shotguns. Now at rank two, you get resilience, which is plus 50 maximum health and plus 10% injury resistance. And then the final class, is the field medic where you get the healing drone and this heals and revives friendly teammates now the gauge fuller for this one is kills and damage dealt to drones revive teammates and kills by teammates now the class item you get is the med kit hand deployable device heal injuries and gain extra health and then for the class proficiencies you get the first aid faster revive the pallbearer carry bodies faster and then phoenix can self revive now for rank 2 reward is the one that I'm going to go over because that's the only difference out of all of them. You get the plus 15% revive speed. Now, as we move up into the skill tree, we have our basics, which is going to be XP. That means we're getting plus 20% XP. We also have the parachute, deploy your parachute. We have the night vision. And then we also have close and personal, which gives you plus 15% reload speed and plus 10 mobility. Now that is the basics. If we head over right to the right, we get something that focuses on the weapons. We have pack mule, which is going to give us plus 40% maximum ammo and then plus 10% ammo pickup. We also have something that, which is going to give us plus 15% reload speed while using a handgun and plus 20% damage. We also have maximum ammo, which gives us plus 25% max ammo. And then finally, we have better dismantle. So when we're dismantling items or weapons for parts, we get more items. So we scavenge more parts. Now, if we head over to the right, we have MK1, which is mark upgrade. This is 
will upgrade you plus one. So you go to mark upgrade two for your weapon smith. And then there's another one that gets you to mark three. If we head over to the left, this is where you can get the extra perks. You're allowed to carry up to three perks if you unlock them. So these perks give you different abilities as you guys unlock them in the skill tree. And then you have to select to use them on your character. So that for two skill points, you can unlock your second one. And then for four skill points, you can unlock your third one. If we head up into the recon, recon is going to be on the top right. We have the thermal vision. So we go from regular night vision. And then the next thing you can upgrade is thermal vision. Above that, we have the Intel Grenade, hand thrown device, mark enemies in the area, unlock for crafting, and in Maria's shop. So you can either craft this or you can buy it at her shop. We also have resource detection, adds an icon on your minimap that indicates nearby resources to pick up. We have Recon Mastery, equip this perk to get this effect. For every enemy marked with your drone, negative 10% um, technique cooldown, and then plus 40 XP. So that's pretty cool right there. If we go over to the right, we got more recon stuff. This is more focused on the drone. We have the drone range, plus 20%. We have drone speed, plus 20%. We have drone cooldown. So cooldown after your recon drone is destroyed, negative 50%. And then we have drone mark area plus 50% easier to mark enemies with the recon drone. And then at the very far right, we have drone visions. And this allows your recon drone to use night and thermal vision. We keep going up to the sniper class because it kind of goes in with the whole recon class. We have rolling thunder. Equip this perk to get this effect. While using a sniper rifle, you get plus 20% weapon damage and plus 20% damage to drone. Bonus damage to drones, lower against raid bosses though. To the right, we have a sniper, gunslinger, and then equip this perk to get this effect. For every hit, plus 15% accuracy, and then plus 15% handling. We push on up, we have iron lugs, plus 100% breath control, and then the final one in the sniper is the ballistic advantage, plus 40 range, and plus 20 accuracy. So let's go back down to basics and then let's follow the trail right to the middle where it says survival. We have stamina regen speed plus 20%. We have rations level 2, craft advanced rations in the bivouac, better effects and longer durations. We go up, we have tireless, negative 10% stamina cost. And then we have burst forth, equip this perk to get this effect, plus 10% movement speed, plus 75% stamina regen speed. We'll head over to the right, we have tactics, and then we have specialized item carrier, plus one class item capacity. We also have a perk called inspired. Equip this perk to get this effect for every kill by ally. Health restored. So instantly heal back some of your health for every kill by an ally. That's pretty cool. Then we have the passive talent that's technique accelerant, which is negative 10% technique cooldown. So the techniques are going to recharge faster. And then we have the Revivalist. Equip this perk to get this effect after an ally is down. Plus 20% movement speed. Plus 40% damage resistance. We keep going up to more tactics. We have Technique Accelerant, which is going to give us negative 10% technique cooldown. We have Specialized Item Carrier. Plus 1. We have Convoy Upgrade. Get better quality gear and weapons from convoys. And then we have the Drone Hunter. After destroying a drone, health restore. So instantly heal back some of your health after you destroy a drone. That, that's pretty cool right there. So then we're going to go down to survival. And then we're going to go into economy. And I'm sure this has to do with what you buy in the game. We have the armory upgrade. Get better quality weapons when buying weapons on demand. We have one that gives us plus 10% credits. We have another one that gives us plus 10% credits. And then helicopters sell, helicopters become available in the shop. And then we go up to the very top and it says heavy and weaponized vehicles become available in the shop. So that is cool. So once you start leveling this all up, then you have ability to get some of these weaponized vehicles. So we have survival here and then we have one more survival to the left of it. 
And then we have slide control, which is plus 75% less stamina used when sliding. Water filter, which is going to give us water filtered, fill the bottle water in the swamps and salt water, plus two water canteen capacity. We have the speed climber, plus 20% climbing speed, speed when going up slopes. And then we have the rations level three, craft extreme rations in the bivouac, better effects and longer duration. So that's pretty cool right there. Now we're gonna go all the way back down to basics and to the left we have stealth. So we only have a couple more to get to and we're almost done with this full skill tree which is pretty impressive so far. Then we have six cents, equip this perk to get this effect plus 25 meters automatic marking mark all enemies in range cannot be used in ghost war though we have sync shot drone remote killer press g to put on the target press g to activate unlock for crafting and in maria shop let's take a look at that right there huh that's pretty that's very cool we also have the sensor hack equip this perk to get this effect plus 10 percent damage to drones bonus damage to drones Lower against raid bosses and then plus 40% drone evasion. Harder for drones to detect. Then we go down. We have Slim Shadow. Equip this perk to get this effect. Plus 50 stealth. We head over to gadgets. We have upgraded versions of C4, frag grenades, and mines. Improved damage and area effect. Unlocks for crafting and in Maria's shop. Explosives MK2. We have item capacity plus 1. We go up a more breach torch, hand deployable device, high temperature tech torch used to cut holes in wire fences. Unlocks for crafting and in Maria's shop. So most likely you're able to craft this and you're able to purchase this. But that is actually a pretty cool tool that they added to the game. And I like that fact. It gives it that realistic fact. Love the breach torch. And then we also have the explosive expert. Equip this perk to get this effect. Plus 20% item area effect. Extend the area effect of all your items plus 20% explosive damage, plus 40% throw range. We head over and we have gadgets again. We have the shop clearance. Consumables are 50% cheaper in Maria's shop. We have EMP grenades, hand thrown explosive devices, stuns nearby enemies, unlocks all levels of EMP grenades for crafting and in Maria's shop. We have item capacity, plus one. And then we have drone scavenger. Scavenger more parts from destroyed drone. Then we head back to stealth, we're going to go up to assault, and then we have our final two of the skill tree. We have the gorilla, which is going to give us to equip this perk to get this effect for every hit with a shotgun, plus 10% damage resistance, plus 20% health regen. We get the healing pouch, which is going to give us plus one syringe capacity. We have adrenaline, after a close quarter kill, health restored, instantly heal back some of your health. That's pretty cool, I like that perk. We go down, we have the rocket launcher, unguided explosive missiles, unlocks for crafting and at Maria's shop. We head over to the final part of the skill tree. It's another assault one, healing pouch plus one syringe capacity. We go down, we have feel no pain, relentless cannot reach critical injury levels, plus 25% injury resistance. I like that one. We have MK2, syringe mark two, self use, Faster healing, remove some of the injuries. And then for the final one is Twig. Negative 30% damage resistance. Negative 30% health regen delay. And 100% health regen speed. So we took a look at the full skill tree. And they have some pretty cool perks. Remember some of these cost one skill point. Some of them cost two. They even have some that cost four skill points. Like this MK1 right here. Four skill points. So you just have to decide on where you want to put your skill points into. But that is the skill tree, guys. I'm very impressed with it. I really am excited for this game. I was a little bit skeptical. I'm going to keep playing it. I think it's going to be a fun, realistic shooter if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for something a little bit on the arcade side, this might not be a game for you. But overall, this game has impressed me. But remember, I've only played two hours in, so I'm going to keep playing it, see what I think of it. This video right here wasn't a review. We're just focused on the skill trees. If you guys have any questions or you guys want me to make videos on anything Ghost Recon Breakpoint related, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you found this video useful. As always, guys, I appreciate all the support. 
But until the next Ghost Recon Breakpoint video, nothing but skills out.